Good morning. Have you ever wondered what's going on with the survey flights that folks like Monkey Works and others talk about that you can see on flight tracking radars that usually appear something like that? Come on back, let's have a chat about it. So you've undoubtedly, if you've watched Monkey Works and others, you have heard them talk about survey flights. And survey flights can be used for a number of different things. Um, you know, they absolutely do uh, survey flights to where they'll fly over cities and they'll map, say, the background radiation levels. And that way that they can more easily spot any kind of a difference, like if, if there was something uh, that was highly radioactive, for example, that was moving through a city, they would be able to spot it because they know what the background radiation is. So, you know, it's it's going to stand out like a turd in a punch bowl, right? So, what we are seeing, though, is a lot of these survey flights, even around areas that aren't necessarily as heavy heavily populated, and... I have what I think, and I've been saying this for, this is another one of those things. I've been saying this for over 10 years, folks, because I did the research. And that's why I get kind of frustrated with all the Johnny-come-latelys that, you know, think that just because they can build a big audience, that means they know all. And none of us knows all. But some of us have been in the game long enough that we know a hell of a lot more than the people that just claim or act like they're all-knowing. So today, uh, and, and I'm constantly reminded of this, Pinball did a video talking about the economy and all that stuff. And once again, and I'm not picking on him in particular, this is a majority of prepper channels. They will just push and push and push for this idea of stacking precious metals. I think that is the most ignorant, unthought-out advice that you could give somebody. What do you mean, Watchmen? Well, because if you go take a look at what really happened during the Great Depression, they confiscated all of the gold, all of it, all the precious metals. They confiscated it, right? You did not have a choice. If you had gold, and they knew you had gold, they were going to come knock on your door and relieve you of said gold. But that won't ever happen to me. You keep thinking that. Keep thinking that. The other thing that the Prepper Channels fail to mention to you this entire time they're trying to push you to go buy gold and silver from their links so that they can make money off of you. They're not telling you that in the United States of America, it was illegal to, to have any dealings with gold until the 1970s. I can't remember the exact year off the top of my head. But from the Great Depression, when they did all the financial changes, brought in the Federal Reserve, when they confiscated people's precious metals, it was illegal to buy or sell gold until the 70s. And anybody that doesn't think that that's going to happen again, you're completely off your rocker. Absolutely 110% off of your rocker. I don't know if there's much hope for you. But more to the point, what are these survey flights going on? been saying it for over a decade what they are doing is they are mapping many different things obviously duh, that's what a survey flight's for but 
they're mapping underground facilities okay so that means if you built yourself a little bunker in your backyard that nobody knows quote unquote nobody knows about they know about it because they done scanned it they already know that there is a void in the earth that wasn't there before they know that so that's just one of many things but i also think that when they're going through and they're doing their mapping i think they're mapping precious metals as well i think they are taking an inventory of what kind of precious metals that people are storing in their home i don't think that that's far stretched at all but the thing that i am most concerned about isn't the gold isn't the precious metals isn't the fact that they know that you now have an underground bunker when nobody else knew <laughs> it's the fact that they're scanning for weapons and ammunition <gasps> i know right pretty crazy they've been doing this that i know of for over a decade scanning for these things weapons ammunition precious metals and yes voids in the earth that could be a bunker i don't know what else to say if you have yourself or if you've let some youtuber or whatever some influencer from somewhere convince you that your way to prosperity is to buy all the gold and silver that you can now so that after the crash you can come out the gazillionaire i would hold short of those thoughts and if i if my advice i'm not giving any financial advice not giving life advice you do you boo but if it were me and i had a chunk at my disposal i would be putting it into tangible goods i'm not even quite so sure that i would put that into property i mean of course if i had the money if i had a chunk of funds i would buy property to live on and whatnot but as far as buying property as as investment value i wouldn't do it because you know what the only thing in the end that matters is whoever is in control what they say you have and don't have because in the end that's all that matters because i can sit here and tell you well, i own a hundred acres right here it's mine i've got all the paperwork i've got all the paperwork look i've signed my name this person signed their name it's all mine it's all mine it's all mine but it doesn't really matter when that guy puts a bullet in your skull because you won't get off the land that he wants see what i mean so it really does truly come down to whoever is control and in control and what and i'm just going to say it like it is what they allow you to have okay so people can be thinking all they want about their precious metals but i'm telling you whenever the crash comes the first thing they're going to do is go around and confiscate the precious metals how are they going to know what they're where they're at right there right there come on folks they've got cameras that could tell you the date on a dime you don't think they can tell how many rounds of ammunition you have <laughs> you don't think they can tell what kind of weapons you have let me explain something about these scanners and the level of detail not only they can tell that you have three ar-15s but they can scan that in such a detail that they can tell you the serial number that's on those three ar-15s so anybody that thinks they're really hiding anything no you're not you're not and the day will come for every single one of us when there's a knock on that door somebody wanting you to declare your possessions mark my words it's coming probably sooner than anybody thinks 
and damn well sooner than anybody wants. Why are they doing the survey flight? So that they know what you have and where you have it. Take it or leave it. I've been saying it for over a decade, like many other things. But hey, I don't know nothing. Have a great day. Shalom. Mm -hmm.